And the second leg in our East Gippsland fishing trip brings us to Marlow. A 45 minute drive from the Bem River, Marlow is a small township known for exceptional fishing and home to world-class fishing tournaments, including the Vic Brim Classic and the Hobie Kayak Brim Series. Our stay here is only for 24 hours, and we have plans of fishing around the islands on our kayaks for brim, estuary perch, and luderick, and also hitting the Snowy River near the entrance for Big Flathead. However, when we arrive, Mother Nature has very different ideas, and we're greeted with 50 kilometer winds. Well, this is our extravagant accommodation for the next night. With camp set up and an hour before sundown, we decide to walk down to the Marlow jetty and flick some hard body lures and are fortunate enough to come across a big school of estuary perch. Just to kill a bit of time before it gets dark, we're coming out here on the evening and we're just flicking some double clutches in the shallows and we've come across a nice school of estuary perch. And that is an absolutely cracking fish. I ended up sleeping in the car last night. Um, did set up the swag and started the night in that, but trying to sleep in that thing with 65 kilometer winds, it was just howling all night. Rain started for a little bit. It was just so uncomfortable. I ended up probably at about 11 o'clock, um, ripping the mattress out of that and putting it in the car and sleeping in the car. So that's one of the tricky things, I guess, when you're, when you're planning a fishing trip months in advance is you know sort of keeping your fingers crossed that the weather's going to be okay so we're pretty fortunate day one we had nice weather at Ben river and day two has been an absolute disaster <laughs> We've gotten up early this morning and headed straight to the main channel just opposite the township and it's blowing 50k winds if you can believe so we've had to put the kayaks back on the trailer and we've driven down to the broad big river and you wouldn't know it but it is absolutely dead calm here complete parallel opposite to what it is literally a kilometer down the road so it's not what we had planned but we're going to make the best of the situation got a feeling there might be some decent estuary perch and some brim in the system Reminds me a lot of the Barwon River, so hopefully we can catch a few fish like we did last time. Anyway, stay tuned, let's get fishing. Let's go. Looks magnificent, doesn't it? We spend the first hour covering lots of ground, casting soft plastics, hard body lures and surface lures at all visible structure, hoping to land a decent brim or estuary perch. The water clarity is really poor due to overnight rain and gusty winds and we're not getting much action at this stage. The wind starts to pick up and we venture from the broad river into the little snowy river arm where it's shallow and somewhat sheltered from the wind. Hopefully our fortunes will change. Come the waves.
Mark, big fish. Yep. Yep. EP. Oh, it's a huge one. Seriously, man, it's a beast. It's gonna be the biggest one I've ever caught. Oh. Yep. Oh! Well, we've been fishing now for about an hour and those winds have come absolutely howling through. And to be honest, we've been really struggling so far. We've been flicking soft plastics and hard body lures against the edges, every bit of structure we can find. And then all of a sudden, we have this, which is an absolute beast. That is definitely the biggest estuary perch that I have ever caught. Um, I've got my ruler somewhere. I'm going to measure that. It's easily in the 40s. That is just a beautiful fish, and it absolutely smashed that diver double clutch uh, off the surface. And, oh, I'm so excited. It's been a really hard day. <laughs> and to get a fish like that is just, this is what it's all about. You know, we wanted to be fishing in the channel, and we're not. So sometimes you gotta make the best of what you got, and catching fish like this makes it all worthwhile. fishing and sometimes you'll take just about anything and that is a tiny little tailor you gotta watch the teeth on these guys they got mighty sharp teeth too cute all right mate you're keen to get on your way see you later I reckon that was 10 out of 10 degree difficulty today. Those winds for the majority of the time we were fishing were sitting between 45 and 55 kilometers and it was absolutely howling. And we've done our absolute best at least to get onto a absolutely ripping estuary perch. We've spoken to a few of the locals here, guys who go out, out all the time in their boats and they've all struggled out there as well. They said that uh, between that murky water and those really windy conditions, they've really struggled to find them. So. By all reports, we need to be heading way up towards the channel and I can guarantee you that'll be even windier up there. The troubling thing is now is that we've got an afternoon here free and these winds are just horrendous. So I'm scratching my head a little bit of what we do next. So whether we can find a nice, quiet, sheltered land-based spot to give a go. So we've quickly come down here to one of these little inlet channels. There's a big seal just to the side of us at the moment. Third or fourth cast with a soft plastic. We've got a nice little estuary perch. So Hopefully that might keep us busy for a little bit whilst the conditions are a bit unpleasant. This looks good. And the walking continues. Oh, look at this. Okay, well this looks better. This is very cool. If we actually catch here, it's a cool spot. Yeah. Oh, 
That's a tailor. Yeah, Flick some different things here, and Mark has got a tailor. It's only a little one, but that's a good sign because uh, this is a pretty cool spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> did you hear that? Oh, took, took, there we go. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Yep. Just, oh, he just fell off then. Just fell off. That was, look at that. And the tail's gone. Definitely tailor. Jeez, it does drop right off, doesn't it? Love to know the depth. So, dude. Just figured this is probably the perfect spot, isn't it? Very cool when you got your feet in the water, big drop off there, little bait everywhere. And they're a bit spooked at the moment, which means there's probably some predatory fish. There we go, gotcha. Ah, oh, it's come off. All right, so we're gonna... Oh, he's just come off there. Ah! Oh. Far out. The tail is completely gone. So I'm gonna I'll just try to double clutch now. Smaller trebles. Yeah. Oh, here we go. First cast on the double clutch. <laughs> Look at that. There's greedy little Taylor. They're in big numbers. Very cool though. Look at this greedy little guy, hey? They will just absolutely demolish uh, lures and soft plastics that we're throwing at them. Yep, got another. And there's another. Oh, mate. Go the other way, would you? <laughs> oh, then look, there's a heap of them following. Well, that's probably the most challenging fishing day that I can recall had absolutely bugger all sleep in this leg, we just don't get along. And then we did battle with 60 kilometer winds all day long. But you know what? There is something tranquil and awesome and beautiful about coming to a spot like this, getting your feet wet, fishing, catching some tailor, or heading up to the Broad River, catching some monster estuary perch, or fishing along the jetty in Marlow and catching some perch or some broom. It hasn't been easy, but you know what? It's just awesome to get out there get fishing. As always guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Our next journey takes us to Lake Tyres, so be tuned for that.